this way before but uh, i'm gonna show you guys a really easy way to change these lights i know you can change them by putting something here and wedging this part out it's a little difficult for some for some it's not but the way i do it it's kind of fairly easy because this whole piece will come out you use one of these if you have one something to pry into the top right here so what you do is you pry in there and you get enough space to where you can kind of get your fingers in there and then you just keep working around and you pull down on it and it's gonna make a noise where it sounds like it breaks just like that there's four clips in there There's two, and there's two more back here. There you go. As you can see, it's got four clips. It's got one, two, three, and then there's another one over here. This side. Well, actually, it's one, two, three, and four. And you can see the clips right here. Those come out, and then these are your lights right there. Very easy to access. Just do a, you turn them and then you pull out. There you go. Very easy, pull that out. Go ahead and put it in. Um, turn it back the other way. And then if they don't turn on, take out the LED, flip it around and then put it back in, it should work. So that's another easy way to do this. Um, don't be scared of the noise it makes. You're not breaking anything. It's just these clips are in there. Very secure. So if you want to do it that way, you know, this is really easy too. It's just another way to do it. But just thought I'd make this video and let you guys know that there is another way of doing this. Because I've seen some people do it the other way where they try to take the, um, the part from this off the cover and they'll end up breaking a clip and then you'll have to end up replacing that whole piece again because it won't stay in or every time you use it it won't click but yeah that's another way i'll show you guys the back how there's another way you don't have to disassemble all that back there you know same thing using that wedge tool and uh yeah i'll do that real quick and then i'll show you guys all right went ahead and switched it out I uh, switched it out because I ended up buying some new LEDs. I'll show you the ones I had before. I had these. It's got, uh, I believe, five LED on them. And then that came with the whole full kit for the interior lights for the Dodge Charger. I'll post a link below that I bought. It came with all the lighting. So, um, the splash puddles, the trunk, the interior, front, back, and then um, believe some glove box lights. So it basically was the whole kit. I think it was about 15, 16 pieces for like 15 bucks. Very cheap, had no issues with them, but uh, I wanted to get some brighter ones. But I'll show you the guys that I bought now. I bought these off of eBay. I believe they were like um, 15 or no, 10 bucks, I believe. And these have even more LEDs on them. So this is what these look like. It's got about four on each side. So 20 LEDs on them. So I'll show you guys a comparison video. But these on my driver's side are the left, the passenger side are the old ones, which is those. And then the uh, driver's side are the new ones is a whole lot brighter they probably can't tell on video but they're a whole lot brighter passenger old driver new whole lot brighter so let me go ahead and get the other one switched out and then i'll get back to you guys all right well i went ahead and 
Change both of them out of their own. No issues fitment wise. Everything's good. Make sure they're on there tight. Put this back on. Just put them, line them up. And just give it a good push. And you'll hear it clip back in. Feel around it. And you're good to go. Just like that. They work. So let's go ahead and do the back. All right, back side. Um, fairly easy. Kind of wedge it up here. This uh, tool that I have, I think it's a little thick, so it's not working. So what I'll do is uh, I'll get myself like a really thin flathead, wedge that in there. And then you can't see, but here, hold on one sec. Get your flathead, wedge it in there at an angle. And then you just kind of pry it back. There you go. And then it falls out, just like that. The light's on right now, cause I pushed it. So just push that and it's off. There you go, just like that. And then in order to get that out, push it from the back. Fall right out, just like that. Then you get your LED and you plug it in. Okay, they're in now, same thing like I said. If it won't turn on, you know, just flip it the other way and you should be good. So now they work. And then put this, to put this piece back on, start from the back. It's kind of dirty, let me clean it a little bit. Start from the back, just, there you go. It's in, just like that. You don't have to take off all this piece. You don't have to worry about taking these off. Easy way to do it. Do the other side, same thing. Side's done, ready to go. Put your um, other piece back in. Start from the back, just push. And you're good to go. The under the car on the doors and the trunk because those are pretty self-explanatory so i'll post the the link to the other video that i did on those that way you guys can check those i just thought i'd make a video on this one how to do it